This is a video tutorial on how to make the Happy Days over the shoulder peg bag. It's a nice big size, holds lots of pegs and it fits neatly across your shoulder so your hands are always free when pegging washing out. We'll start by making the strap. If your fabric isn't long enough, simply cut two pieces and place right sides together, line up the raw edges and clip and then take it to your sewing machine and sew a quarter of an inch seam allowance all along there. Once you're happy with your strap length, fold your strap in half, wrong sides together and make a nice sharp crease down the centre. Then open up and then take this edge and place it on that centre crease and press and take that edge and place it on that centre crease again, press it and then fold over, press again and then put some clips in. Once you've popped all your clips in, take it over the sewing machine and start with the open side first and sew all along there, top stitching. And once you've done the one side, do the opposite side all along and you'll get a nice professional look for your strap. Once you've sewn along both, both sides of your strap, that's your strap finished and we'll put it to one side for the moment. Now we're working on the lining. Take your two lining fabrics and place them right sides together. If you have got a patterned fabric, make sure that that's the pretty side, so the pretty sides are together. I've got plain fabric, so I'm, I haven't really got a right or a wrong side. So line up your sides and the bottom edges and then put lots of clips all the way around. I've clipped all the way around and I'm also going to be leaving a gap at the bottom for turning later. And now I'm going to take it over to the sewing machine and use a quarter of an inch seam allowance. I'm going to start there and sew all the way down to the bottom and stop. Across the bottom and stop. And leave a gap. Start again there. And stop. And then right back to the top and stop. I've sewn all the way around and I've remembered to leave a gap and I've also clipped each of the bottom corners and I'm going to put this to one side for a moment while we work on the outer of the bag. Now we're working on the outer of the bag. Take your two pieces of fabric you've cut out for the outer. If you are using directional fabric make sure that this is the top of your bag and that the direction faces both the same way on both pieces of fabric. Then place right sides together and clip all the way around. I've made sure that all my sides and the bottom edges all line up and I've put clips in and now I'm going to take it over to the sewing machine and use a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Start there and sew all the way down to the bottom and stop all the way across the bottom and stop and back up to the top and stop. I've sewn all along the three sides and I've also snipped each of the corner and now I'm going to turn it the right way round. I've turned it the right way and I've pressed it and I'm now looking at the back of the peg bag and I'm going to put the handles on. Measure two centimetres from the edge and make a mark either with a pen or as I've done with a pin and do the same for that side. Now take your strap and place it against the line or the pin that you've put in and pop a clip. And do the same for the other side 
and then take it over to the sewing machine and tack quite close to the edge along there and along there. This is just to keep the handles in place while you do the next stage. Remember, when you're tacking them in place, you're just sewing them to the back of the fabric, not all the way through. So just to the back and just to the back. I've tacked the handles into place and now we've got to put the outer inside the lining that we made earlier. The lining is still turned the wrong way at this stage. So take your bag outer and fold in half and place inside your lining. Open it out and line up all the edges and the side seams and pop some clips in. I've clipped all the way around and I've made sure that my side seams and all my top edges line up and now I'm going to take it over the sewing machine and use a quarter of an inch seam allowance sew all the way around joining the outer and the lining together. I've sewed all the way around joining the lining to the outer and now I'm going to turn it the right way by pulling it through the gap I left at the bottom. turned it the right way and now all I've got to do now is sew up the bottom to close up the gap. I've sewn up the gap and now I'm going to push the lining inside the outer of the bag. I've pushed the lining inside the bag and I've pressed it. The last bit of sewing is to top stitch neatly all the way around. You might want to use your fancy stitch at this stage. Once you've top stitched, that's your over the shoulder peg bag all ready for your pegs. So you can fill, it holds quite a lot, you can fill it up and then use it to peg your washing out and then your hands will be free.